back. I hope you've all had a really good week. Uh, so this week what we're doing is love, lust or lost. Love, lust or lust. Bit of a tongue twister going on. Um, I picked two decks and then Spirit told me to get a little oracle one as well. So I've put, put them down as our kind of little clarifying things. So we've got, we unbox that one. We've got two decks, two decks. Um, I need you to put your person and your energy into the deck and I'll explain how in a second. Sorry if the camera's a little bit wobbly, I've just meddled with it. So deck number one. Deck number two, we've gone for shiny, sparkly decks today. Number one, number two. So think about your, well, think about you, and if you can feel your heart energy pushing into the cards. And then if you think about your person as well, and push their energy into the cards as well. And um, really feel it from your heart, feel the love or, or the emotions that you have for them, and push it into deck number one or deck number two, whichever deck you are most drawn to. So it's gonna work on the strongest mutual energy between you all, uh, regardless of your individual circumstances, which is why we only use two decks, because if you put your energy in properly, then uh, then you only need two decks. If you're skipping the shuffling, etc, etc, then uh, you can need more than, than two decks, because it's not, it won't be as personalised. Okay, right, let's go. Think about your person. Oh, this is deck number one, by the way. Think about your person. Let's get into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. And let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of their person. And my guide is going for us to get seven cards, and then we're going to do the oracle ones as well. So, let's go. Can you give me seven cards on whether this is love, lust or lost. Oh God, that has just gone so heavy. A lot of the time when you um, start reading, uh, you can tell a lot just by shuffling. If they go, when they go really heavy, there's a lot of weight on people's shoulders in this deck. It's, I mean, like it really feels like I could be lifting a weight at my gym. It's, it's that heavy. <laughs> okay, is it love, lust or lost with this deck number one? Now this deck is absolutely beautiful, but the reason I don't use it so much is because the jumpers can take a bit, they, they kind of jump out in, in hordes, like big amounts of cards, in there, and we don't need that, I like them to jump individually, or up to two. Is it love, lust, or lost? I'll have both of them. Six, and my guide said seven. Okay, so you will be happy to know that these cards are pretty, pretty phenomenal. So, um, don't get your knickers in a twist. Even though it's gone, the deck went really heavy, the cards are coming out really good. So, with your person, there feels to be like it's been a bit of a um, long road, my guide is saying, that you've kind of been feeling like you've been chasing your tail a little bit, like, like my dog, you know, going around in circles, chasing your tail, um, feeling like you're a bit of a dog with a bone, trying to catch up with them, and they've just kind of either backed away, not giving you what you wanted, whatever your individual circumstances are, and you feel like you're at this kind of stalemate energy at the moment, you don't really know what direction you guys are meant to be going in, are you meant to be hanging on? Are you meant to be letting go? Is anything actually going to happen? Um, now, from your person's perspective, there isn't um, the sexual energy isn't coming up massively. Now, that's not to say that you haven't got a sexual chemistry between the two of you. There is that element to it, but the love is taking over that. So even if your person hasn't specifically um, expressed it to you, even if they haven't communicated with you that they have these love energies, um, it is important that you know that your person is making these heart-centered moves towards you, okay? So there is a love between the two of you. Now, they've been a little bit like a rabbit in headlights. They haven't really done much about this situation um, and they have been thinking about it, but there looks to be some kind of 
offer coming in from their part and the offer that's going to be coming in for you guys is going to be a love based offer so there's a likelihood here that of, of commitment there's a likelihood of everything kind of going your way because your overall outcome we have the nine of cups which is your wishes coming true these cards are really good um, so it looks like you guys are kind of going to get everything you want um, and there will be this movement and there will be this offer but it might not be quite in the timings that you guys are expecting and um, the reason for that is because your person is a big reflector they like to reflect on things um, they also can only really deal with one situation at a time they're not good at communicating about situations um, and your person rather than going and saying oh I love you, I want to be with you, you're my total world, will actually kind of go back into this hermit mode, will retreat from the situation and really try and put the pieces together of what's going on. So wherever you lot watching are with your person, it's most likely that your person is in this kind of reflection mode at the moment and you can't really feel, you, you don't really feel as if you're getting through to them. Um, I just heard the word shattered glass um, and through that we got looking at you through the glass by Stone Sour, beautiful song. Um, your person is just feeling quite low vibration and that's where the majority of that heavy burden energy came through at the start. Where your person is at the moment in this lower frequency kind of looking at you through the glass wondering how much time has passed. All they know is that it feels like forever. God, I haven't heard that song in ages. I'm a, I'm a bit of a metalhead at heart. Um, all they know is that it feels like forever and forever feels like home sitting alone in your head. But the stars shine for you. Those are the lyrics. So this is where your person kind of is at the moment. Having this period of reflection, thinking it through, and from that, this is when this offer is going to come forward towards you. Um, the other side of it, again, it is kind of keep on going back to this thought process where they are at this moment. Um, this is kind of the reflection of the song that the just Spirit just gave us. You've got the house in the background, them sitting there, they've got the world in their hands, but equally there's also the internet, it's a symbol of the internet. So there's likely that your person is watching what you are up to on social media, thinking it all through. Um, there's an element of self-protect coming forward here as well spirit are asking uh, spirit are asking me to tell you or telling me to tell you um that there's an element of self-protect going on and they're reflecting on this hermit mode um for this self-protection as well uh, they want to make sure that they're making the right choices towards you um and you know your people as a whole are those people that get a thought overanalyze it overanalyze it add two and two and make 40 um but their intentions towards you are really, really good. There is a sexual energy, okay? So I know I said there's not a massive sexual energy, but if you look at this, this lady is naked. So there is a sexual energy which signifies the lust. This is definitely not lust, and there is definitely a strong love connection between the two of you. Um, they're feeling like there's a bit of a block in getting towards you at this moment in time. And again, this is because they're kind of overanalyzing, overthinking, overstressing, um, and and not really coming up with any answers. But they are, they are gonna, let me ask how they're gonna come up with these answers. Let's work it out. How are they gonna get from hermit mode to knight of cups? What's gonna happen? Okay, so it looks like in this hermit mode, they're going to have a bit of a reflection time in realising that they want to be a part of a family and they could see that they could be a part of your family or have a family with you or that you could be a part of their family and um, that they're actually going to be quite sad about the situation. Here you are with your high priestess energy. Remember, never sexually orientated or gender specific, but the high priestess is you guys watching. So they, they're going to realise through this time of feeling sad about the situation, through this time of feeling this loss and this grieving um, and this hermit mode, that they do really want to be with you and you have the two cups on the side here. So your energy, their energy, the two cups looking towards you, the three cups spilled over the bottom because they haven't been the best person in this relation relationship or whatever situation uh, high priestess ten of pentacles they're gonna in this hermit mode have this period of bit of sadness bit of downtime bit of heavily burdened why the deck was so he um so heavy at the start and that's what's going to make them them realize that they want to be with you so if you guys aren't in contact um they need this kind of bit of time out from you 
to work out what it is that they want from the situation and see if you guys can come up with a middle ground you know some of you um it's almost as if with some of you guys you do actually want a few different things like some of you lot watching are going to be wanting a family of your own um, and so this is just an example and some of your people are going to be wanting to travel or something along those lines and it's kind of try and find that middle ground between the two of you um, and your person is reflecting on that as well but through Herbert mode you have these very strong 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 outcomes that you desire at the end of it so it is a love relationship it isn't a lost relationship and there is an element of lust um, and sex and chemistry and kinkiness and and all things uh, wonderful and good in the world there is that kind of energy coming forward there but the love is what's taking over so actually you guys are in a pretty prime position for this to move in the right direction for you and you couldn't get better than the outcome card at the end of being the nine of cups that your wishes will come true and that they will come towards you with some kind of offering with the heart on the sleeve spirit are telling me really trying to leave the past behind them um, and focus on you and them and and your you guys you and their future so it is a love it's a love based energy let me just pull you an oracle card to go with that i haven't used this deck in ages they're so cute can i have let's get three oracle cards to go with deck number one please i'm not a big oracle fan um but i like them as a um as a little clarifying to give you a bit of advice and guidance can I have two more please for the people watching Project number one about them and their love, lust, or lost. Do you? Okay, so you have what the beep, you have talk and you have me time okay so what these are suggesting is a kind of like a little bit of advice for you guys really at the moment you a lot are feeling a little bit confused by it you're not really sure what's going on this card that says what the beep is saying to you uh, trust the universe okay um if you're feeling like you're trying to control the situation really try to release that let the universe take control of it um you know it's kind of a bit like having faith it's about having faith really you don't have to um, completely release the situation and move on and and let go for it to come back around but what you do need to do is kind of surrender it so if you kind of say okay to, if you have a one-to-one -one with the universe your guides your loved ones whoever and just have a little bit of a chin wag call a team meeting as i call it call a team meeting with them and say look you guys know what i want um I'm, I'm kind of fed up of trying to control it myself and, and seeing where the outcome goes because it's bringing my energy down I'm going to let you guys take control of it because you know where the destination should be so I'm just going to hold on tight okay and in that period of holding tight you've got this me time card so I know it's kind of a bit of a um it really annoys me when people talk about self love as the outcome to things because um you know like i said you lot you i've said before you lot have fought very very hard to be the people you are today and i don't ever want to feel like i'm saying oh self love is going to be what's going to fix everything because it's not quite as simple as that but it is a key element you know you fought hard to be the people you are today and you've just got to fight a little bit harder well a little bit longer not even harder spirit just told me off you've got to fight a little bit longer and um, and by doing that if you you can fight longer by just keeping your energy focused and aligned with yourself really aligning with your energy and um, staying in the higher frequencies trying to release any fears and if fears are taking a hold of you um, try and keep yourself distracted and go and do stuff to step out of that energy go and see your friends for a coffee go to the gym take the dog for a walk everything along those lines and then over here you have this communication stepping in um, and really talk whoop, you've gone flying really talking about things and this is where we're saying about you know chasing your tail a little bit you've both been feeling like you've been chasing your tail and um, well you more so feel like you've been chasing your tail of your person that you've been going around in a bit of a circle but that circle's actually making this infinity symbol um which then makes this helix going up which means your paths are going to be entwining and there's going to be the chance for you to talk things through with your happy outcome over here and the love and your person will express their love for you um, and it actually feels that they're going to try and express it in 
quite a simple way. Rather than kind of wording around it or not giving you the answers that you want, they're going to really kind of say, look, you know what, I've spent this time out thinking about it and I do really still have, or, or I do have very strong emotions for you and I want to see what happens between the two of us and we can work through these blocks and these barriers because the love is really strong. And you'll go, yay, <laughs> finally, we got there. You took your time, but you know, at least we're here now. And that is deck number one. So it's actually really good, really, really positive cards. Definitely a love-based energy with an element of sex going on. Okay, let's do, let's move that one, deck number two. Okay, my beauties, welcome, welcome. So this time, this time, got a tickly nose. It's my brother, my brother's in spirit, and he comes up and he tickles my nose. Um, so we're doing love, lust, or lost um, between you and your person, what your relationship is doing. Um, as always, works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your individual circumstances. So, deck number two's energy, please. I just got that, um, oh God, who sang that? Was it Away, Away, that shine on, you'll never change what's been and gone. Uh, was it Oasis that sang that? And all of the stars are fading away. Try not to worry. You'll see them someday and take what you need and be on your way and stop crying your heart out. Stop crying your heart out. That's what the song's called. I think it's Oasis. And don't take that straight away as a damn, it's all gone wrong. Don't do that. Let's get to the bottom of it first, because if you've seen that song as a negative, you're going to start freaking out, and we don't need no freak outs. Okay, deck number two. Um, think about your person. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? With that song, Spirit are telling me to tell you that there is, um, you lot are, are kind of really struggling at this moment in time. And you've you've come through waves of it where you're feeling a little bit better. Some of you are doing very, very, very well at releasing it. Um, and they want to give you all credit for that. Um, when I say spirit, by the way, um, in my right ear, it's higher ascended masters, it's angels, it's the higher guidance. In my left ear, it's loved ones, helpers, and my guides, and your guides closer. In personal readings, it's your specific guides, your loved ones, and your helpers. But the higher frequencies that come through the right ear, which is who we're communicating with right now, um, are the, the higher, higher energies in the dimensions. Okay. Um, so what they were saying is that you guys are kind of being in this lower point and you're waving in and out but they're saying that you should be proud of how far you've actually come um, because when you started, even when you started the year, they're saying, um, you were in quite this low frequency, that feeling really sad, um, feeling like everything wasn't working out um, and crying your heart out as the words say, um, but you've shifted quite a, long, quite a way along. Um, and you should be really proud of these little, even if it's just like little leaps that you've done, your little leaps are going to start mounting up to big leaps now um, and feeling a little bit better about your situation with your person, um, whether you've decided to move on, whether you decide to stay put, whatever you guys have individually decided, um, you will start to notice progress more within yourself, which is then going to be reflected towards them. Okay, can you tell me, is it love? lust or lost with the person their person is it love lust or lost so i'm going to do what i did with deck number one and we're going to get seven cards and then we're going to get three oracle cards at the end just for a little bit of advice and guidance for you I've only got six for the last deck actually, but Spirit is saying seven for you. You sh you need to hurry not to set my hair on fire. Okay. Okie dokie. So there has been a choice made on your situation. And it feels like there wasn't much choices being made on your situation. Now the majority of you are going to be thinking that this has come to a close and having hope 
that it hasn't um, and it kind of has come to a close but it's temporary spirit are telling me they're telling me to tell you that this relationship is a little bit dormant at the moment and what they mean by that is it's not over it's asleep okay so this choice has been made you've kind of choice has been made you're kind of both having a bit of a break from the situation because it has been quite turbulent and um, a little bit yeah turbulent they said another word then but I, I won't termulus they said I think um a little bit turbulent a little bit um intense sad grieving heartbreak loss confusion uh did they betray me did they let me down did it all go tits up because of me yada 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 um and there had there wasn't a choice being made for quite some time and now this choice has been made and you guys are thinking now it feels like it's over but I don't want to believe it's over and um, it's temporarily asleep okay so it is going to come back around um the sexual energy within you guys it is kind of coming forward here so what will happen you've got the manifesting card as well so you guys, if the situation has kind of come to this little bit of a stagnation or dormant energy, um, you can manifest this moving back into your direction. Um, if you want a manifesting plan to move it back in your favour, let me know. If not, go and have a Google of the internet on how to manifest this love. I would recommend Abraham Hicks for you. Um, we would also recommend... Um, doing some meditations, doxy meditations, D-A-U-C-H-S-Y is really good as you're falling asleep, bringing it back into your power. So this situation can manifest back into your favour. Now, when it does happen, so once this kind of choice and things has had a bit of downtime, you've had a bit of a break from it all, there is this kind of, you have an offer coming forward as well. Um, it's slow movement it's slow and steady movement but there is this offer coming in now the most likely outcome for your offer is that it's going to kind of be a little bit of a sexual offer now the reason why it's going to be a sexual offer um is because your person isn't really sure how to handle the situation and um, they aren't really sure how you're going to perceive them how you're going to take them when they come back towards you or you go back towards them they're not sure how it's going to all unravel and they know that between the two of you the chemistry and the sexual chemistry both chemistry and sexual chemistry is really really strong and if they can get back into that flirtatious kind of banter energy with you then um, that is how they're gonna come back towards you so it might start off with a hey good looking or hey mate if they're trying to mask it all how are you doing what's going on and um, they might say to you do you fancy meeting up I'm a bit you know horny anything along those lines there, there is that sexual energy but underneath it all it's because they don't know how to handle it and there's slow steady movement going on you can manifest again you can manifest this you can even manifest it out of these energies if that's what you want if you want to go and have a bit of fun you know you will have that opportunity with your person but if you're after something more um remember that they kind of handle the situation quite immaturely um because they're not very good with dealing with emotions and it comes back to issues from when they were children some issues with mum with a lot of them um that they had this very strong connection to their mum but their mum was going through a lot of stuff this is a very very collective bit here okay so if it doesn't resonate don't get your knickers in a twist um there was a lot of stuff to do with mum for a few of you guys um where their mum went through a bit of a hard time and they felt like it was their role to kind of be the man be the strong person and not show their mum that they were upset by situations and therefore that's why they're not very good at handling their emotions uh, because they feel that they should be strong all the time so this is why the sexual energy is likely to come forward first and then sorry the sexual energy is likely to come forward first then you have your slow steady movement and the potential of stability is there um you guys are going to have a choice to make on it. It's going to go come down to you um, and what you want from the situation. Some of you will get what you want. Some of you are going to really have a think about it and work out if this is right for you um, anymore. And there is going to be this different type of confusion going wrong, going on. Um, not wrong, sorry. That was a psychic. It comes in that quick sometimes. It's like if I do mediumship and I get... Um, a name you can have like Stacy, but it can be Stacy, Lacey, Casey, Macy, Tracy, JC, anything along those lines. It, it lines sometimes the, the connection can get a little bit muddled. 
So a number of choices that are going to have to be made, what it is that you want from the situation, try not to put a timing on it. You have this reconciliation available in in your cards and there is an emotional thing here and um, it is emotionally based but they don't know how to handle it so it's going to kind of come down to you guys if this is what you want your person isn't going to have a personality transplant they will always be a little bit hidden when it comes to their emotions so you need to be aware of that um, you guys can work through this and you can make it work um, but it's going to be it's not going to be easy it's not going to be easy. So this is more likely to be like a karmic or a twin flame connection between you lot. Very complicated, very um, kind of runner chaser dynamic, which I hate saying uh, because each twin flame journey is very, very individual. Um, but it's kind of this is a runner chaser dynamic going on um, and it's going to be down to you guys and what it is that you want from it. OK, at the moment you'd think, well, you know what, I, I, I love him, I really want to be with him. Any chance is better than no chance. But when the time comes um, and this slow movement comes in, you might actually, the more kind of energy you put into yourself, the more you might change your mind on it. So it's not over. It's asleep. OK, it's dormant. Um, there is a love here, but it's masked by sexual energy uh, because they don't want to talk about emotions or even handle emotions and that's why it's kind of fallen away at the wayside at the moment for a lot of you because you needed more from them will they be able to give you more when they come back there is a potential but they've got to up their game and it's going to be on what it is that you guys want um, try if you can there is a very strong link to memories here which is making you still feel quite attached to your person and um, it's that i'm afraid is something really when it comes to memory links and your person and um, it's always going to pull on your heartstrings really is there a way around it the only way around these kind of memory links is time um and you'll be seeing the synchronicities as well because you'll be seeing it all kind of aligning and um, it is aligning to come back towards you but don't put a timing on it because you'll press pause on the whole lot and um, so lost definitely love under the surface lost temporarily not permanently let me get you three clarifying cards for that can i have three clarifying cards for love lust and lost for deck number two any information advice guidance to guide the people watching help them with their complicatedness of the situation one two three okay so we have ask yourself we have persephone and we have growth so Let's start off with Persephone. Persephone uh, ended up in a bit of a tricky situation with Hades. If you want to go have a look at the story, um, there's a, a big story to that. But Persephone was this very strong temptation, okay? So your person, the, the, she was a goddess. So she wasn't a goddess, but she was um, either married to Hades. I can't remember the ins and outs of its Greek mythology. But she was this massive temptation. So your person is going to be viewing you in this very strong temptation. Again, the sexual energy is coming forward here. It's important for you to trust your own instinct on this, okay? Really try not to listen to your head, but really listen to your gut instinct because your gut instinct is your intuition, especially those of you that are less tapped in, tuned in and turned on. Um, if you listen to your gut instinct, you're not going to be far wrong with the situation. So really trust yourself, trust your intuition on it. Your person is seeing you in this big temptation. They're not easily going to be walking away from it. It's a bit of an obsession on their part, but they're very good at kind of hiding away from it. So they, they have got this um, addiction energy with you. They, they have a massive pull to you. They don't know why. Um, we know why, because it's a more spiritual connection. They don't know, they, they don't really understand that at this moment in time. Ask yourself, uh, trust your own instinct and remember we have the card of growth as well so what this is saying um what the spirit have just told me to tell you is remember that when you plant seeds you have to cover them in manure for them to grow okay manure and water so you have to go through the shit literally to grow and that's what's happening here okay you guys have been going through a rough time you're not out their thoughts you're not out their mind there is that link that temptation you're going through this bit of a rough period this growth so that you can blossom and grow from um from it all 
um, and really trust your own instinct. And now, don't take people's opinions on board as well. If you're trying to talk to your friends about it, um, really, if they're putting judgments on you and saying, oh, well, they never loved you. If they love, if someone loves you, they can't treat you like that. Or um, if they're off talking to other people already, they don't love you. Yada, yada, yada. Your friends and your family have got your best interests at heart. That's why they're trying to look after you. But equally, they are not the person that's involved in this situation. It's only you and them even if they're with someone else and it's third party you know it's you and the per and your person so if people are trying to give you judgments and decisions and and really kind of trying to hit home on a level that is very judgmental just you know think of it as an interesting point of view don't take it to heart and trust yourself it's really really important here that you're trusting your own inner guidance it is going to get easier and um, they're not going to easily walk away from this that's why it is asleep at the moment so it's not all over it's just dormant okay um in hibernation as winter kind of comes along you know the animals hibernate don't they get their stocks in go to sleep for a certain amount of time and then come spring summer they wake up it's exactly the same as your connection with your person it is going to wake up again um and this temptation is going to be what's ruling them, which is why that sexual energy is likely to come forward uh, first before the stability and the security. So there is a love, it's hidden. There is a strong lust um, and it's not lost, it's dormant. It's in hibernation. It will come back round. Okay, and that's deck number two. So have a really good week, my guy, my, my beauties, my guys. Have a really good week guys slash my beauties um if you need me uh for anything i do manifesting plans i do psychic readings we also do spiritual development mentoring um what else do we do life purpose readings past life readings the only readings that i can't do are finance legal and health including pregnancy any other readings that you want to know about i am allowed to i can't do those three things because i'm um restricted by UK law other than that we can we can read anything so anything you want to know just drop me an email and um, I also do 15 minute readings half hour readings or single question over email so if you're a bit um wanting the things in a quicker time frame the, the time frame for single questions is 24 to 48 hours my video readings there is a wait period because as you can imagine I'm super super busy with them um but I can get them out to you as quick as me and my guides can all right, guys, so have a really good week. Um, look after yourselves. Try not to get too bogged down with the ins and outs of it. It's all going to be all right. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other, um, you know, and keep yourself as distracted as you can rather than getting into the... If you're yearning and you're mopey and you're sad, really, you know, right, feel the energies, embrace it and try and push it through your body and then go and distract yourself rather than holding on to it and feeling low and down for, for quite some time. Um, if you can distract yourself, um, never underestimate the power of distraction in heartbreak. Okay, guys, lots of love. Take care. Bye.